The trending term these days in the spiritual New Age blah blah movement is Godshot. I would imagine it's not meant to conjure random stabbings that take one to the ground only to yank them back up by the nape and throw a halo on that head, or a smackhead's desperate inoculation needle to vein in an ecstatic dance only instead of it being followed by the nod and stupor or the dirty blood beating and stippling, the result is a halo thrown on that head. I would imagine not, but that's what it does. No matter how I picture it, the image always feels violent and invigorating. A kidney for Hans would be called a god shot. The most invigorating event of my life, his too, I dare say, but violent? A kidney severed from one tissue and blood supply to be inserted and sewn into another seems pretty violent to me. See, so violence isn't always bad. Or maybe I'm just in a mood because here we are 10 years later and he is back where he started, transplanted kidney suddenly feeling the bang of a head on. And just the word shot, man, it's not a gentle word. It has power. A God shot can't be gentle. It must be infused with a jolt, a nosedive, an unapologetic concussion. It has to be startling, off-putting even, because nothing graced can be tepid. The phone call from Cedars that I was a match and would, barring my own cowardice, be this 19-year-old's donor was a god shot. That's easy. Waking up from surgery and hearing through the delauded fog that all procedures had gone well, a god shot. Easy. Ten glorious years of the relocated kidney working, pumping, filtering, keeping him alive. A damned god shot. It revs the metabolism thinking about it. But here's where it gets testy, or I get testy. Is this new twist, transplanted kidney starting its fail, a saturated bloat of toxic fluids resculpting my boy, a man now, into someone else, the word finally in, it's been a good 10 years, but the kidney is done. Also a God shot? Because if you believe in God shots, then you believe in God shots. But no ma'am, if you believe in God shots, then you believe in God shots. This religion of coddling's jig is up. If you're naming it, then you're naming it. No salves, no unguents for fragile souls. Embrace your darkest hours, your deepest waters, your surest of curses as the blessings they actually are. Every toxic pore, inflamed capillary, and clogged glomerular honeycomb is drenched in grace, even huffing and puffing, even collapsing beneath the muddy boot of treachery, even blackened with necrosis and smelling like awful. What doesn't kill you? If I can only let go. If I can only let go, I know I can shift the earth's plates, make them bend to my will, breathe the freaking life back into this bitch. Kidney failure, you bitch! Take my breath, my boy, and breathe. Just breathe. Let us breathe in concert. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. A waltz is the most tangible rhythm to assist breathing. Let us glide, dancing into the fathoms to some furious strauss or other, soaking in the ancient oaks and hieroglyphs, foraging for food like rabid dogs. Let us shoot the poisoned arrow of God into the spleen of misfortune and birth defects and laugh death in the face with our precision shot. Let us claim the spoils.